Hi everybody. I started to record a video, but my laptop's been acting weird lately. So here I am again. Hi. I have a new setup here. Um, I talked about it in two of my other videos. I actually am sharing the spare room with my roommate, who has a computer in here as well. And I decided to clean it out and move some of my jewelry stuff since I no longer do that unless it's a custom order. And some craft stuff and moved it in the living room, which I have to work on tomorrow organizing and purging. So I have an area here that I set up with just a tapestry on the window because there's a lot of light from the front window. And some of my artwork and some of my Funko Pops and just some stuff, cards, oracle decks, my sage, some wands, my Reiki wand, my candle, just a lot of little trinkets that I've collected over the years. Not nearly as many as I have. It's just a small area. I'm actually going to put probably a cabinet here somewhere with something or a fish tank. I'm not sure. Um, I might put the fish tank on this table here, but I don't know. My betta. I have bettas. So, thank you for coming to my channel. I figured I'd do a video log. At first, I was going to do a reading, and I'm, I'm, sh I'm shuffling the deck, but I'm wondering if I should do a video log instead. Um, but what I think I'm going to do is a reading. Um, the reading I want to do is the Dragon Fade deck, which is one of my favorite decks I just started sharing on the channel. It's one of my favorites. Um, as you know, I love dragons and I love Fae. My name on my original email addresses, uh, obviously I use Parlay to Spirit for this, but is Celtic Elf because I'm Fae Elf and I have a Fae Elf on my back, a tattoo. Oh, so the reading I want to do is, let's see, what do I want to do tonight? Hmm. I'm trying to think of what I want to do. Let's do a reading for Leo. The lion. I don't know why I keep feeling the, like the lion needs a reading. So we're going to move the bags around. We're going to do a reading for Leo. I hope you're prepared, Leo. Spirit wants me to do your reading. Let's see. Hopefully the computer doesn't crank out on us. So let's see what's going on with Leo spirit. And this will not pertain to every Leo. If you do not resonate with this reading, then you might want to check your chart of where your sign lies for this time period of time because you may lie under a different sign, kind of like I do with my cancer. I'm cancer, but sometimes it's Gemini cards that I have to read. So let's see what we have for Leo. Well, Leo, it looks like you have a lot going on in your life right now. Um, let's see. First off, you're chasing something down. This person, it shows fertility, right? Someone pregnant, but that doesn't mean you're pregnant. The symbolism of this card is you're chasing something down. You're... It's almost like when a little kid wants something, like an ice cream cone, and they beg their parents. And if one parent says no, right, they go to the other parent for it. You're chasing something down that isn't attainable right now. And you're frustrated that it's not attainable right now because you're stubborn and want everything now. The universe doesn't work that way. You could be as pissed or as angry as you want that you're not getting what you want right now, but it's not the right time right now for whatever it is you're trying to do. I feel like it's either a relationship, the next level in a relationship, whether it's a friendship or a romantic relationship, and they keep saying romantic. You know, it could be romantic or friendship, like the next step. Maybe it's a friend going from a friend to a relationship or a relationship into engagement or marriage and or a job. No, it's more relationship. They're telling me, no, it has nothing to do with job. So for whoever this is for, it's about a relationship. It's not going as fast as you want it to, but honestly, it hasn't been that long. So it's kind of causing pressure to the person you're with. So slow down a little bit. Slow down a little bit. Love who you are. Apparently, others see you one way, but you see yourself a different way in the mirror. So love yourself more appreciate yourself more 
Stop trying to live up to others' expectations of you. Once you do that, and and you're at a better part, like you're you're stable in that, and you're like, okay, I got this, then clarity will come through. This is clarity. This is the clarity card. This is you having a clearer set of goals, mindset, no fog, no um, less expectations that aren't attainable. That's what they keep telling me. You're looking for expect you're looking for un unattainable things right now. So the path that they're showing me is like someone wanting something that's like 20 steps ahead. And because they think they did a little bit of work to get to that, they think they're entitled to it. And the world doesn't work that way. It's kind of like I try to explain to clients when they reach out to me. Not everybody, but some readings where or if I'm doing mentorship, which I started offering, you have to slow down because it took you this long to get this way in life. It's not going to take it that fast to get back to where you want to be in anything, whether it's mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever. Also, too, you need to open your heart more to things that um, maybe you necessarily closed off from because you're afraid. It's almost like, well, I want this, but I don't want to go that far to get it. And, and they keep saying, you're going to know what that means. And I think there's several of you that this reading is going to pertain to. So I don't think only one person's going to be like, oh, yes, this reading. I think there's going to be at least, wow, they're showing me five people that are going to have this reading resonate with them. Whether it's now when I post the video or a month from now, some, so there's going to be five, at least five people that this video is going to resonate with. Because even though I'm posting this video during the month that I am, I do not give time frames. So this can pertain to any specific time in your life unless I specifically tell you. I'm not like other readers where they put time stamps. I do it on my pick of cards, but not on to these readings. I also feel like the male energy in your life, whether this is a brother, a boyfriend, or a father, is trying to be supportive of you in some endeavor, but you don't listen. You're stubborn. You don't listen. I don't know why they keep showing me that, but they keep showing me that. It's almost like I see a dad telling a child, like, you know, don't do this, but because you're stubborn and want to do it and you don't want to listen to them of what's going to happen, you're going to get hurt. And I don't know what it has to do with because they won't. They're not saying it's a relationship. Maybe it's a job-related thing, or maybe it's a project or something. It's definitely not a relationship. They're saying listen to the person. Either it's a father or a friend that's like a father figure that's giving you advice. And they're saying nothing's impossible. So even though you're trying to get to that 20 steps ahead and you're pissed off because you're at three and you think you should jump to 20 and why isn't the universe answering my questions? It's because you haven't done the work. You think you've done the work, but you really haven't. And I'm not trying to be facetious or mean or bullying or whatever the case may be. I can't even think of the right term. But so many people want to jump from step three to 20 and it's everybody. It's not just you. I did the same thing. Slow down, realize that the universe has a purpose for you. There's a reason for everything, whether you believe it or understand it or know what it is yet, and that you're where you are at this moment in time because you're meant to be there. Everything happens for a reason. I 100% believe that. So, yeah. So the, as soon as you realize all of what I've talked about, whether it's a year from now when you're watching this reading or you're watching it live like the day that I posted it or whatever the case may be. If you do all the things that I said in this video, in this reading, the last card is healing. It's going to heal. You're going to heal yourself. You're going to, you're so afraid to delve into things to get you to step 20. But the only way the universe is going to let you be flirtatious and anything that you do is by accepting that we're all flawed. We all have issues. 
We all need to work on those issues. And for me, until I delved into some really dark shit in my life that I wasn't, I was so afraid to do because I thought I would have a nervous breakdown and never come back, but it actually made me stronger and able to share really personal things in my life to help other people. And so accept it, love yourself. Don't push other people to be who they're not. They keep telling me that. I don't know if you're like, have a friend that you keep giving bad advice to, but it's not all about money, they keep saying to me. It's not all about money. Now, money is great to have, don't get me wrong, but there's many people who are millionaires that are miserable fucking individuals. And then there's people like me who are, I'm, I'm rich in my people around me and my environment. I'm not as rich as I'd like to be money-wise, but I'm working towards that. And I see this year and next year being bountiful for me and being able to do my documentary that I want to do and maybe doing my little book that I want to do, my children's book. I have very high hopes for my future. I've never had that in my whole entire life because I've never delved into the darkness of my soul, which is your shadow self. And so I feel like a lot of people who don't delve into the dark side, and I know people don't believe in the dark side. They think, oh, it's dark or light. No, it's all light. It isn't. Some of us deal with a lot of dark shit when we were kids or when we were growing up. We need to deal with that side of us. Once you accept your dark side, and what I call it is my shadow self because it's a pagan witchy thing. Um, once you deal with that part of yourself and you realize it and you know you're a good person and compassionate and loving, you can work through anything. So love yourself, number one. Self-worth and self-esteem are very important. Um, it's just one of those things that a lot of people take for granted. They push themselves to do so much stuff for other people. And then never do anything for themselves. So I hope this reading's been really great for you, Leo. I hope it resonates with several of you out there. As I say, usually in all my videos at the end, sometimes I forget because I'm getting old. Please make sure you take care of yourself, self-worth, self-esteem, because there are other people that rely on you, whether they are fur children, pets, little kids, or other adults, or your husband or wife, or boyfriend or girlfriend, or whatever. Take care of yourself, do more for yourself, self-worth and self-esteem, and have a great evening, and thank you for coming to my channel. Don't forget to hit the like button on all the videos that you enjoy. If you are a subscriber, please don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're alerted to new content and live feeds. Also, take a look below. I've posted some new information regarding um, a Patreon site and a Twitch site. If you'd like to follow me at either of those, go and do that. I will be setting up the Patreon where it'll have tiers in July. And then the Twitch, I will start going live on there soon. And um, I would love your support. I have my PayPal information below as well as my wish list on Amazon if you'd like to donate to the channel. Um, I am saving to do a documentary. And I hope you all have a great evening. Thank you for joining my channel and have a good one.